You might think this is an isolated case of racism in London. If so, think again. That's according to some people from London who say there is something deeper at play here. It includes one former politician who ran for the Progressive Conservative Party in Ontario's provincial election back in 2014 in the London area. Today, Jeff Bennett shared some of his memories on Facebook about all the canvassing he did in different neighbourhoods in London, knocking on countless doors and hearing things like this said to him, quote, boy, are we happy to see you at our door this election. I can tell by looking at you that Jeff Bennett is a candidate I can support. Jeff posting, these are things people said to me when I was knocking on doors in London West as the PC party candidate in 2014. These people who'd never met me saw nothing special in me. They were happy only that my name was English, Jeff Bennett, and my skin was white. I knocked on thousands of doors in the very neighborhood this atrocity occurred. This terrorist may have been alone in the truck that day, but he was not acting alone. He was raised in a racist city that pretends it isn't. Wow, Jeff Bennett joining us now. Jeff, thank you for taking the time to come on the program today. Thanks for having me. Wow. So uh, I'm, I'm glad that you uh, felt the courage to post that here. Tell us what we need to know. I was originally posting it. I, I live right up the road from, from where this tragedy happened, and it was... I, I was overcome with guilt, and uh, it was originally I was I, it was only on Facebook. I was penning an apology to my friend Ali Jabbar, and those things that you pointed out. I, the unique situation here is, I ran in an election that was only a, less than a year after a by-election in which Ali Jabbar ran, and uh, I knew very well that he faced very different challenges and very different welcomes at the door than than I did, and that became painfully evident very quickly. And uh, I, I, I had to write something this morning because I, I, I feel bad that I didn't do more to speak up about it at the time. And just to be clear, Jeff, I mean, you canvassed across, you know, many parts of that writing and you spoke to a lot of people face to face and you heard this kind of thing over and over and over again, correct? Quite a few times, yeah, over and over. And, and it's, but it's an underlying thing. And that's, that's the problem with systemic racism. And uh, it's... Um, these are things that have have grown and animosities that have built over the span of, of hundreds of years. They don't. Uh, you can't paint the entire riding riding with a single brush. But at the same time, there's no doubt that uh, this kind of racism is is there beneath the surface. You also said uh, that you feel the suspect here was raised in a racist city that pretends it isn't. What did you mean? I don't think. I, well, I think that's every city in North America, really. And I, I, I think to address this, we all need to look internally. And uh, no, nobody wants to admit to being racist or to say I'm part of the problem here, but really that, that is it. And, uh, you know, I'm 47 years old. It's taken me a long time to even get to the point where I'm starting to acknowledge this. And, uh, he, but, and that's, that's, that's based on my upbringing, but I know that I am not alone in that. And of course we, we choose not to, to think about it or want to examine it because we don't, we don't want to convict ourselves, as, and we don't want to look at ourselves as being bad people. But really, we, uh, we all need to be doing more if we're, uh, if we're going to address this. And turning the mirror on ourselves, something else I know that you wrote about was, you know, seven years ago when you were running in that riding, there were volunteers who were part of your campaign who sort of expressed uh, a certain level of discomfort with the previous candidate, as you mentioned, a candidate of color, you know, saying that, you know, the, his campaign office looked like the Middle East or, or words to that effect. Yeah, those, those things were said specifically to me, but I don't think you can, again, paint, paint this single party with that brush. This is, this is an underlying problem in society. And what I regret is that we're so reactionary to it, too. And that's why I even made the post, because I knew these things. And why wasn't I having these conversations five years ago? That's why I was overcome with emotion today and felt the need to put pen to paper. Because uh, we all realize that these problems are out there. But it's very reactionary. Now we have all these politicians visiting our city today. Mm. But this was an issue two days ago as well. And it's the same with the, 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 the mass grave discovered in Kamloops. These are problems that existed prior, but we address them in a very re reactionary fashion. And I, I feel like we need to take a more proactive approach and look in the mirror every single day. Now, you have posted this, and I'm curious what the reaction has been, uh, uh, Jeff, potentially on both sides. It's, it's, well, it's, it's been overwhelming at first. I, 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 you know, I'm friends with Ali Jabbar on Facebook. I, I, I was penning it as a, as, as an apology that I haven't done more over the last seven years. 
to him. And then, and then at first I thought a couple of dozen of people that I grew up with might, might look at it, but I was hoping that it would cause some of them to examine their own actions and their own thoughts on things. And, uh, and, and it kind of took off from there. And I, to be honest, at first I was like, I don't know if I'm qualified or the person to be speaking on this, but the response has been overwhelming from people in the Muslim community and in, in the BIPOC communities saying we need to have more conversations with this. And that it's, it's because of that, that I'm, I'm, I'm even here and thinking, okay, well, if we can keep this conversation going, maybe it allows us to not be so reactionary next time. Jeff, I appreciate you taking the time to come on television with us here on CTV News and uh, share your thoughts on this story in your in your hometown. My pleasure. I, well, I, I, you know, as I said, I, I hope it uh, it keeps the conversation in the forefront because it would be a, a travesty to uh, to just move on with life as as normal. Jeff Bennett is a former candidate. He ran for the Ontario Progressive Conservatives in 2014 in the riding of London West. Thanks, Jeff.